My name is Kain the Tech Pro, and today I'm going to be explaining to you the following terms. What is prior, conjugate prior, posterior, and likelihood? And I would like to mention that all of this follows from Bayes' theorem. So for now, I'm thinking you need to actually learn about how to state, at least, how to state Bayes' theorem. All right, before I continue, please subscribe to my channel. Click on the subscribe button below this video right now so that you motivate me to keep making this lesson for you. And again, I always explain in very simple terms. Okay, let's now get started. Basically, all these terms, uh, prior, posterior, conjugate prior, and likelihood, they are all terms of the Bayes theorem, all right? So, if you are trying to deduce the distribution of a parameter theta given some set of observation, then we can obtain the posterior distribution using Bayes' rule as follows. So basically, uh, all of this is simple. We are trying to deduce a parameter of a population by taking some samples, taking out some samples, and these samples are having values, let's say n samples, n samples, and we have x1, x2, all the way to xn. So you've taken out these samples and you want to deduce a parameter of the distribution of this of this parameter. Basically, you are trying to deduce an unknown parameter. So you can find this parameter using Bayes' rule. So I'm going to now state Bayes' rule. This time I'm going to use a different color. It permit me to minimize this uh, ribbon so I can make some space. So again, Bayes' rule states that p of x uh, given y is equal to p Okay, sorry, let me let me state it the way I normally state it in my website. So P of Y given X. Learn how to state this theory of hand. So just learn it, even if it means memorizing it. Memorize it because it's going to help you a lot in, in your machine learning, uh, or, uh, in your learning machine learning and also data science. So we have P of X given Y times P of Y all over P of X. So in terms of the samples taken and also a population parameter. We are trying to say that, let's say that x, x is now a vector of uh, items x1, x2, all the way to xn. So we represent it by x. Now we can find this uh, parameter using Bayes theorem in this way. P of x, p of, uh, of this given x. This time we are using x as a vector, as a set of x. So it's going to give us p of x given the parameter times the probability of the parameter all over p of x. All right? So now, let's now come to these terms we are talking about. Let's start with prior. Prior is this term that says P of theta. So this is the, the, the probability of the, of the parameter before actually taking the observation or taking the samples, that is fair. So this is the probability of the unknown parameter before taking any observation or before making any observation. Now let's say conjugates, conjugates prior. Again, conjugate prior, as you can see. So conjugate prior, uh, so prior is all is called conjugate prior if it is comes from the same distribution with the posterior. Before, let's now talk about posterior, then we come back to, to conjugate prior. Posterior is this term, P of theta. Now, after you've taken the samples or the observation. So this is the posterior. Now the likelihood. So the likelihood is simply P of X given this. So this is the likelihood. The likelihood uh, term. So we have prior, we have posterior, we have likelihood. So this 
prior is actually called conjugate prior if it comes in the same distribution with the posterior. So if it comes from the same distribution. So that is when you, it will be called conjugate prior. So all these I've written out clearly in my website as question five. So you can actually go through it. If you have any question, leave, leave for me in the, in the description, in the comment box below this video. And also feel free to like the video and share it around with your friends. And if you've not subscribed, this is time to subscribe now.